<laughs> the other big move that the Flyers made today, much more bigger than Barky, is uh, Nick Sealer. Uh, Sealer signing a four-year extension with the Flyers, uh, 2.7 AAV, 10.8 million in total. Uh, Sealer, 12 points in, in 63 games this year. Uh, he just broke one of the Flyers' records. Uh, I believe now he's, I think, one. I think he needs like, I forget how many it is. Uh, Block shots. Block shots, yeah. I don't know. I believe why. the number is 138. I wrote in my article today that he, uh, you know, obviously that's one of his big stats. And I, I think it was funny. I think he's actually like 12. Yeah, block shots, the game. 184. I believe he's like 12 block shots higher than the guy below him. So he's like just in, in a league? whole new stratosphere. Yeah. Yeah. So if he's at 184, he needs five more to break Chris Pronger for second all time. And then Jason Smith in 07 08 at 204. Um, I don't think Sealer is going to do it now, unfortunately, because he's on IR. He's going to he's going to miss <laughs> yeah. at least a week. So, but yeah, no, I mean Sealer, he broke down on Saturday after the Senators game. The Flyers won four two, uh, one hundred and seventy eight that night. He had like six in a row on this, or it was like f- at least four on on that yeah. penalty kill late in the third. Um, but yeah, he was third all time. He's about to be second all time when he comes back. Uh, but more importantly, he signs. An extension uh, again, four years, two point seven million. It was rumored around three or three and a half, th- over three million. Flyers get it under, and they take the extra year to make it under three million. Another smart thing from Danny. Um, th- th- this one's an absolute no-brainer. I love this one for me. I mean, Sealer, I've I've said this from the beginning. I mean, the guy literally almost quit hockey, and you're gonna just all, all you're doing now is paying him two million more than what you were paying him. To to do the exact same goddamn thing, uh, and he's he's proven he's a a a legit NHL veteran, not not really even really a veteran. He's more of a he's honestly more of a rookie when you look at his numbers, but he's older. Uh, and and Sealer at least you know he he doesn't play like a six seventh D. Like he's he plays like a legit four or five, and, and you know he adds so much value to the team. Obviously, he's he's very well liked, and also the room. I have no, not one issue with this at all, not one. Yeah, no, I, I was actually on the train, the uh, train to you know move him for a while. I think um, I never really had a problem with him being resigned as long as it was within a reasonable you know amount of money and, and term. I think that the decision to, to move Walker was kind of you know it was a surefire way that sealer was going to get extended. And I don't really have a problem with that. I, I think Sealer's definitely the more durable guy who is kind of like a Swiss army knife. He can pretty much play anywhere, do pretty much whatever you ask him to do. He, he reminds me of the guy you kind of just like, you, you remember the dude from Waterboy with his, uh, the cross eyes, you just <laughs> send him out there and he's like an absolute lunatic. Nick <laughs> Sealer's just like a moving tank. You know what I mean? Like he kind of just blocks everything that moves. Dog, yeah. He is a dog. And everybody in that room loves him. He's, you know, just brings such a, like, a stable presence to that room from, you know, everything that has been indicated. And he's not the most offensive guy, but he's going to get you clearly over 100, what could be 150 shot blocks per season. So durable, you know, takes up a lot of uh, a lot of space when he's out there, even though he's not the, the biggest guy. Um you know, I, I think it's a great deal, especially you, you sacrifice, obviously, you give him a fourth year, but in return, you get a guy less than $3 million a year. I think that's, you know, under $3 million is a good deal regardless, but especially with the cap going up, 2.7, I think is a steal. Complete yeah, steal. No, I, think, I think we just made a, we just really made the right decision between the, like the, you know, trade one uh, and keep one between him and uh, mm-hmm. uh, Walker. I'm happy to see him yeah. get like the money that he's earned at this point. Um, and it, it's, I mean, I know he just got hurt, but I mean, I just, he's proven for his career that he can, he can, you know, take that kind of abuse and blocking shots and stuff like that and stay in the lineup every night. I'm surprised it took him something to get hurt. What was that? <laughs> I'm surprised it took him that long to get hurt. Yeah, yeah seriously, yeah. seriously. I wonder, it's like even though he's not gonna, like you said, break the uh, single season block record. Is he? I, is he still like uh, the highest per game? I wonder. He's got to be. He's got to be. Yeah. That's an at this point. point. I mean, yeah, hell, if he just had like six in that one game, like you're like that one. Are you talking yeah. Flyers history or NHL? For what, Flyers history. 
Okay, yeah, let me look. It's funny you mention that. The only reason he even got hurt is because it hit him in an awkward spot. It hit him, like, right on the skate. Like, skate yeah. ankle area. That's, that, hurts, yeah. that hurts so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, as long as he doesn't take know. one like you know, like like Le Perrier took. Yeah, then I mean, and he can take like, it anywhere else. Right, exactly, and it's not like he was getting you know just abused over and over and over again, and then just got you know injured in one specific spot. It was yeah, you know, the, the skate. It was a sense of area. So yeah, and he's kind of like uh, the, I feel like he's kind of like the Lawton of defense in terms of like you can put him. He doesn't really care where he's playing in like the lineup. He right. just goes out. He's gonna you're gonna get the same game out of him no matter what. Yeah, exactly. So, and he's only making two point seven per. So, right. I think yeah, if you I'm, played him, you know, I, go ahead. Well, sorry. sorry. Uh, I was going to say, I think if you played him 60 minutes a night, he might have more blocks than a goalie does saves, to be honest. Not that, not that he could <laughs> ever possible. play 60 minutes in a night, but like, I mean, I mean if you think like, yeah, I don't like, know. Because <laughs> that's probably about four times the amount of minutes he plays in a game now. Mm-hmm. Right. And if you, yeah. if you quadruple his block shots in a game, that's, that's not too far off from the amount of saves a goalie normally has. Yeah. Um, so know, just just a funny kind of interesting point there. Um, when, when we got Sealer, he had uh, 43 games in 21-22, had 67 block shots. And then this year, it, it only for as of right now is, is updated for, uh, for 23-24. This says he is 40. 40 games played, obviously 108, but he has, you know, 186. But to only have 43 games played and then have 67, that's insane to have almost – he's yeah. like a couple off of triple in 20 more games. He only played half that season. And yeah, that's, that's insane. You said, you said 67? 67 and 43 games, yeah. Right, so if he played a full 82 games, that would have been 127 blocks. And he's 180 through 60 – how many games does he play this year? He's pretty much played every game. He's only sat like he hasn't sat. I don't. I was gonna say has he sat? Yeah, he's played mm-hmm. every game. He's played every game. He has sixty three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he only yeah, he doesn't even have three hundred games under his belt. Mm-mm. Does he have he's more dead. career block shots than games played? E- easily. <laughs> oh yeah, easily. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, think about that. He's getting like you know. He's getting like more than two a, a game. Yeah, I, yeah at the, least the NHL uh, score, stat. The, any, the, can we talk about something real quick? Why does NHL.com and the NHL app? I don't. I don't use that. Horrible. It was. It was a lot better last year. They. they it is, yeah. For no reason. It is fucking. Yeah, Holy yeah, hell! Yeah. He's got five hundred seventy-four career blocks and two hundred and eighty-eight games. He's four hundred twelve blocks with the Flyers in one hundred and eighty-three games. Isn't that insane? <laughs> yeah. I was a little disappointed it was a four that's, year that's, deal. It's like two and like a, a, a what? Two and like a fourth of a block shot a game. Two point two five. I don't think he would have taken anything really. I think well, he the big key for him was the term. He oh, wants yeah. no, a, I was a contract say, that can just be that can set him up for the rest of his life. Yeah. I mean, like 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 I said, ideally I wouldn't have given him four years. But like we said, like if if the alternative was like we saw rumored three by three point three, this is better. Um, yeah. So like great move there. You know, worst case scenario, he's like a non roster guy, the last year or two of that. But the kind of game that he plays anyways shouldn't be as vulnerable to aging. Uh, now is vulnerable to injuries, Injury. um, but then you can go on IR or LTIR, and that's not a huge deal. Um, so you know, I think it's I think it's a great contract yeah. by Danny. Originally, I was pretty pro trade sealer, um, and I, I, I still kind of partially wish they had. But if if they believe the people who know way more than I do that he's an important part of this team for the culture and whenever we are competitive again, yeah. if they believe that he's important to that, this is not a bad deal. It's, it's a I, good deal and it helps that. 